Hello, good morning, everyone. Hello, Chris, Mariana, Kim, Jessica, Jamilka. Hello, Ben. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. This is the last day of class. We made it. The last day. Today we want to recite our, our paragraphs. We're going to conclude the activity by reading aloud uh, what we've been working and thinking about all week in terms of progress. And so I want to give you guys a few minutes because it's not going to take us, I think, that long to read through the poems. Um, but I would like to give you guys just a few minutes to to get your thoughts together and take a couple of practice runs to yourself uh, to recite your um, to recite your paragraph and then we'll activate our microphones and jump in and and read each of our poem each of our paragraphs I should say um, I think the order in which we'll recite our poems We'll wait here just a few more minutes, but I'm going to follow the order. Um, looks like alphabetical order based on first name. All right, so we'll still wait. Uh, some folks are still coming in. Looks like we have seven of us so far. Uh, we've got Claudia, Chris, uh, Daniela, Mariana, Deyanira, Kim, Jessica, and Jamilka so far. But that will be the order in which we recite our uh, our poems. We'll just go in alphabetical order. All right. So, are there any questions before we get into reading our our paragraphs? When you guys read your paragraphs, it's not necessary to read the citations. Okay, you should have included citations, but you can. Uh, skip over those when you read it aloud. You can just read the text itself and um, and that's it. Okay, so we'll start here in a few minutes. I think we'll start at about 915. Give you guys a few minutes again to practice reading aloud uh, your your paragraphs and we'll start here in about 10 minutes or so. All right, guys, let's uh, get ready to read up our paragraphs. We're going to follow the, the, uh, this order. We're going to start with Claudia, then Chris, then we'll do uh, Danielle, Daniela, Mariana, Deyanira, Kimberly, Janet, Javier, Jessica, Marcela, and Jamilka. This will be the order. Now, when you guys are reading your poems, try to relax, try to pronounce each word very clearly. Don't get in a hurry. Take your time when you're reading uh, your paragraph. If you make a mistake and you want to start again, then you're you can start again. Just stop and 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 start again uh, from the top. Remember, you do not have to read the citations. All right, so Claudia. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm going to start. Mm. The peace index, the current situation in Asia. The current situation of half peace and the social develop in Asia, in Asia, sorry, organization noted a great progress in decreasing of wars. Ironically, an American administration that once cautioned against nation buildings find itself planning a massive state building project in Afghanistan, possibly in collaboration with the United Nations in key building countries, including Iran. A country cannot develop if there is no a, a peace economic development and to raise the life and living standards of ordinary people. Peace is very important. In recent um, de de 
décadas, I don't know how to say, many countries in South and Southeast Asia have experienced internal conflicts that have negatively impacted develop and growth. At the national and regional levels, currently there is an index to measure peace. The first index is the Global Peace Index and is currently include 162 countries. In general, these indices coincided in showing the factors that indicate the construction of peace. In life of this uncertainty, the Asia Society Police, Policy Institute convenes um, an independent commission of regional security architect, uh, chaired by ASPE President Kevin Ruth to explore the enhanced role that rational institution could play in maintaining peace and stability in Asia. That is why peace is very important and with organization, you have an important peace treaty. And in Asia, it had been possible to achieve an economic and social development. And that's all. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Chris, you're up. Yes. Um, Illegalization of slavery from USA and its, and its existence nowadays. Slavery has been declared illegal through the years, but it is continuing to exist nowadays. In fact, the estimated number of people living in conditions of modern slavery in the United States right now is 403,000. So there are lots of people who live in modern slavery conditions. These people live in conditions, condi conditions which do not allow them to avoid this abuse, or they are victims of kidnapping. Furthermore, through the aid of modern slaveholders, it is easy to ensnare individuals and, for and force them into slavery, which renders them easily disposable. In this way, the real problem is how slaveholders adapt their actions to avoid detection. To summarize, because several countries do not have enough resources to avoid these actions, slavery could exist for a long time yet. Also, slaveholders easily change and adapt their strategies, so it is more difficult to capture them. And that's it. Thank you, Chris. Danielle. The language that predominates in Mexican families in the United States. Latinos around the United States have different perceptions about what American citizens think about Latino language. There are 500 million Latinos in the world, with 32 million Latinos in the United States. For example, in the United States, most of the Latinos are from Mexico, and they speak Spanish. Therefore, Mexicans have a little average of speaking and learning English. It is estimated that approximately one in every five children in the U.S. come from homes where at least one parent is foreign born. According to this information, the language is a big factor of increasing new abilities for children because they need to try to achieve skills for learning English in a school and avoid using their Nari language or the language of their parents. In summary, the Nari language or Latinos has a green path when they move to the United States because they need to have a progress of learning, listening, and speaking English according to achieve the American dream. That's it. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Daniela. <clears throat> One of the elements considered to have a successful life is creating and living in a safe in, in safe environments. If we don't measure our performance, we don't know if we are succeeding or failing. For example, in an unsafe environment, it is likely that any mistake you make will be per permanently held against, against you. 
When we can create a, a safe environment, we are reaching one of the main goals because that can give peace in our lives and let us live with no worries. Safety could, could give us more, more than one advantage. And one of them is, is to live in a place where you can con constantly be sure you can succeed in any of your activities without living with preoccupation and living in a healthy and comfortable place where you can work, study or just live. Unfortunately, safe, safety is not rich, 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 I don't know how to say it, rich for every person. That is why it is one of the main goals to succeed. That's it. Okay, thank you, Daniela. Mariana. Um, from the beginning of times, women have not received the same treatment as men, for men believed that women were an inferior being. However, in the last years, women have made a meaningful progress in their position in society. The last several decades have delivered major progress for women worldwide, with literacy, life expectancy, and pay at or near historic heights. But huge disparities remain, especially in developing countries. Although women have made a huge progress in many areas, when in previous years they were not allowed to participate or interfere, there still are places in the world where the progress has been minimal and needs to be improved. Management positions are more likely to be held by women compared to 20 years ago. The parity is still a long way up. Eastern Europe and Central America generally perform best on this, per in this metric. A management position by a woman, by a woman was something that people had never imagined. However, women have demonstrated that they are qualified and capable of doing any job and position. With this kind of progress, Women can work in any occupation and stereotypes made by the society will stop existing little by little. Despite the fact that women are not even at the half of the path of having the equality between them and men, there has been a progress in their lives in the last 20 years, for they can perceive some of the things that were not allowed to do and now they can. And um, that's it. Thank you, Mariana. Deanira. Women's Global Development and Prosperity. The development and prosperity of women around the world has been increasing through the years, but the women have had to face different circumstances to grow their process. Though the life of women and girls in developing countries have improved dramatically in the last 50 years, women's access to economic opportunities remains constrained. The number of women union members at important jobs has been increasing steadily since at least 1955, while among men, the member has fallen since 1975. So that now, women's share of all union members at 37% is larger than ever. Women's economic empowerment, boost productivity, increases economic diversi diversification and income inequality in addition to other positive development outcomes. Although the prosperity and opportunities for women have increased, they continue fighting against certain stereotypes and problems that affect their constant growth. The existence and persistence of these gender gaps system have three key factors, different use of time, different human capital, and discrimination. The prosperity of women has been a problem and a constant fight through the years. Anyway, their process is remarkable, and it is not over yet. The women's development at important and higher jobs is increasing day by day, and the opportunities to success are growing. That's it. Thank you, Danita. Kim, you're up. Uh, Kim, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, I was having some problems with my microphone. No worries, whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Since some adults have developmental health problems due to bad experiences in childhood or adolescence, progress in overcoming is an achievement for those seeking help. Even though 
of people with mental health problems do not seek help, treatments are available to help them. The reason why treatments are available is because they try to make the disease no more serious and difficult to control. For example, whether patients seek help and receive a few sessions with a therapist, the risk of suicide may be reduced. Thus, their disease will be under control and the patient's progress can be observed as the time of their treatment passes. Therefore, whether the patient has sought and received treatment, the progress will be reflected in the improvement of their mental health. That's it. Okay, thank you, Kim. Uh, Janet. This has been a missing element around the world since many years ago. Even if the humanity has been fighting for peace, there are still people living under bad situations. All conflicts are different with their history and reason. Inequality within societies and between regions has become a key cause of conflict. This means that one of the main reasons why peace has been missing around the world is because the differences between regions and societies cause important conflict. On the other hand, true peace has been elusive, but its promise is not lost. Um, Bahá'u'lláh wrote, the world peace is not only possible, but inevitable. And it is inalienable and true destiny of humankind. According to this information, peace is something that eventually will get to the people. It says that peace is the destiny of humanity. Even if peace has been missing throughout the years, the humanity has been fighting for peace for everyone, and eventually it will increase. That's it. Thank you, Janet. Javier. Mm, Mexico is a place where you can find happiness because Mexicans are friendly. But the development of, Mex of happiness in Mexico is due to several factors. Two specific changes seem to increase happiness in Mexico. The introduction of free long distance phone calls in 2015 and the presidential election in 2018. All this means that the presidential elections can be a big factor of happiness among Mexicans. However, there are more reasons for happiness in Mexico. For example, Mexicans enjoy being with their families and friends, or they simply enjoy spending their time meeting new people. When asked, Mexicans themselves seem to think that strong social ties are one of the factors. Indeed, many people have very active public lives because they are friendly people. This means that Mexicans are sociable people because they are looking for doing new relationships with other people when they have the opportunity. There are many other factors that make Mexicans happy, but these are just a few examples. Even if Mexico is a third world country, Mexicans are happy people because they prefer to look for the bright side of the things in any situation. And that's it. Thank you, Javier. Jessica, you're up. Um, the industry of fast fashion has abused of its clothing productions and the environment got worse because of the huge amounts of clothing production. All the process of making a single garment entails environmental damages such as greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions are or originated because almost all the fast fashion is produced in Asia and these clothes are distributed around the world. Therefore, it is needed transportation, which entails huge amounts of CO2. On December 2018, the global fashion sector decided to address the damages they were causing. Big fashion companies such as Inditex, Guess, Hugo Boss, and Puma decided that they would reduce their aggregate gas emissions by 30%. These companies have defined concrete measures such as phasing out coal fire boilers or other sources of coal fire heat and power generation in their own companies and the direct suppliers from, from 2025. Finally, the most influential CEOs in the textile industry reached an agreement that could help the environment and they did it without having to sacrifice their own their entire company. That's it. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Marcella. 
The, the happiness of the inhabitants of developed countries has increased due to the subjective well-being of the country. The Ecuadorian national government designed in 2008 its main strategic plan for the happiness of its citizens now as the National Plan for Good Living, Quantarollo 2019. According to the information, the inhabitants of Ecuador have many opportunities to expand their standing of living, income, and economic expansion. So this allows them to feel more satisfied and happier with their lives. The subjective variables with the greatest impact are satisfied with life, social relationships, marital status, and the personal plan to live well. Pontarroyo et al. 2019. It means that we consider Ecuador a happy country because the results show positive aspects based on highly subjective factors such as personal growth and growth as a country. In summary, the happiest countries are those that that offer more opportunities to their inhabitants and have great economic growth, as in the case of Ecuador. That's it. Okay, thank you, Marcelo. Fernanda. Extreme poverty seems to be one of the social issues which are getting worse and worse, but many countries around the world are progressing significantly. According to the International Poverty Line, people who live on less than 1.90 per day are considered in extreme poverty. The, ex the poverty line is based on a series of conditions that a person lives and is considered an accurate measurement tool to compare the progress in this problem. Over the years, the statistics have been showing progress in extreme poverty since global health and the expansion of global education have been proved. Two, poverty is one of the worst issues in the world, so progress and solutions depend on a lot of other goals as health and education. Extreme poverty is far from being a simple problem and from being solved completely, but people cannot reject the significant progress increased around the world. All right, thank you, Fernanda. Jamilka. During the 1950s and 1960s, African Americans feared for their freedom. It really started when African Americans had had more than enough of prejudice and violence against them. Because Black Americans wanted to gain equal rights under the law in the United States, but they continued to endure many races, so they mobilized and began a fight for equality that lasted two decades. Later, the civil rights legislation of the mid 1960s set the stage for the real work of, of equality in jobs, education, politics, and the military. After the legislative victory, they sought to signal the movement's denouement, but it made the first progress to finish discrimination in the workplace and improve incomes. In addition, since middle 19. African Americans have suffered risings and not having protection or laws that they can use. So when they started to make a move, everything changed for the better, better, better. even though some had to suffer. The movements were beneficial for them, and they started to get laws for work, races, etc. Many people helped them to get their voices heard and get along with the others. Many African Americans started to go to the school, go to work, served to their country and had more incomes and began their new journey for their future. All right, guys, good. Um, well, that's it. Uh, good job, everybody. And I think we'll go ahead and conclude there. I am going to be working on your grades uh, this weekend. I should have your final grades by Monday or Tuesday of next week. So I'm going to email, not email, but I'll send a message via chat in Microsoft Teams with your final grade. If anybody has questions about your grades, contact me as soon as possible next week. Next Friday, I'll be uploading your grades to the system. OK, so again, if you have any doubts or questions about your grades, uh, contact me next week and we can discuss those. OK, but I think we'll go ahead and stop there. I. Uh, I know this semester has been kind of crazy as we had to transition from face-to-face -face classes 
to kind of an online uh, environment. Um, but I enjoyed having all of you in class this semester. Again, I know it was a challenge to kind of adapt to these current technologies, um, but um, I saw a lot of good progress uh, throughout uh, with all of you uh, this semester. And uh, again, a lot of the things we talked about here just recently, this last week or two, uh, in terms of APA, just a final reminder to keep some of those notes with you. So when you go into classes next uh, semester, you have that information with you as you'll be uh, needing to refer to those notes and referring to APA as you write uh, academic essays. I think we'll stop there, guys. Again, uh, I enjoyed having you in class. And uh, I hope that you and your families remain safe and well. And I hope that we return as soon as possible to face-to-face -face classes uh, so that we can uh, be closer in contact with uh, helping you guys achieve your goals, your academic goals uh, throughout the BA. So again, uh, good luck, guys. And uh, we'll, we'll conclude there. And again, feel free to reach out to me anytime if you have questions. Uh, later on throughout the BA with regard to uh, grammar or writing or APA or anything that I can help with you guys, feel free to uh, let me know. All right, thanks guys. Good luck to you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ben.